and welcome back to the Pendry home or welcome if you are new here. My name is Lakin and today we are going to be doing a St. Patrick's inspired coffee bar. So I'm actually not going to decorate my whole house for St. Patrick's Day. I don't have a lot of decor and I'm actually going to do a little haul for y'all of a few things that I did pick up just to do my coffee bar and a little DIY that I also created for my coffee bar as well. Um, and I'm just going to let this be my little St. Patrick's decor uh, before I switch everything over to Easter. Um, and then I'm also just going to undecorate for Valentine's Day. I still have all my Valentine's Day stuff up and it is is March currently while I'm filming this it's March the 6th um, so my Valentine stuff is like way overdue and needs to come down um, so I'm also just gonna take all that down and clean up everything and yeah so um, I'm gonna sit you guys up and show you a few things that I have picked up for St. Patrick's Day just a few little items and we're just gonna like very inexpensively do this coffee bar because I only spent I think like eleven dollars um and I got some really cute stuff so I'm really excited and I also have my cute little shirt on that says one lucky mama and here's a little bump picture or update here um if you don't follow me on instagram so you can see the bump here recently we are growing baby boy is doing good i am 25 weeks and two days today so uh, we are so excited he will be here so soon um i'm in my sixth month of pregnancy and we are just counting down he will be here before we know it and we are just so excited and yeah so without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so like i said i'm just gonna first start by showing y'all a few decor pieces that um, I picked up and I went to Hobby Lobby because our Dollar Tree actually didn't have anything. So the only stuff that they had was like, um, like little DIY kit type thingies for like kids to do, like little craft kits for kids. Um, and then they just had a few things, but nothing that I was really looking for. And I don't know if it's because I went later and didn't really, cause I just went on Saturday. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, they had already previously had everything out like with the Valentine stuff and they just quickly got rid of it to get Easter stuff out cause they have a ton of Easter stuff. So I was really hoping to find stuff at Dollar Tree unfortunately i didn't get anything now i did get some cute stuff for easter at dollar tree which i'll show you all that whenever i do decorate for easter um but they didn't have anything so i drove over to hobby lobby because it's right beside of uh, the dollar tree that i was at and so i will show you all the few items that i picked up and i ended up spending it was 12 dollars so that's not too bad just considering that i am just decorating the coffee bar um and I don't, you know, I'm just gonna use a few items. So this is just a very inexpensive way that if you do wanna decorate for the season, you can just decorate one little area in your home and be set. Now you can go all out if you want to. Hobby Lobby did have a few things. They still didn't really have a big selection um, to choose from, but I mean, they had enough for what I was doing. Um, they did have this really pretty garland um, that is very identical to the one that I used for Valentine's Day on my mantle. And if I was gonna decorate further, I would have definitely have got that for the mantle um, instead of the red and the little red heart, the metal hearts. Um, it was green beading and it had green clovers on it. It was so cute. Um, and I really loved how that looked. But again, I'm not decorating anything other than in here. So I wasn't really concerned about that. So. I'm gonna show you guys the few items that I did pick up just for the coffee bar and maybe this will inspire you because maybe you do want to decorate your whole house. Um, you know, or maybe you're like me and you just want to decorate one little area. <laughs> Whatever you decide, I'm sure it'll be great. But I picked up this little book stack and I like the more muted, um, not as like flashy, I guess, St. Patrick stuff because it just fits the vibe of my home better. Like, I like the more subtle, like even with Valentine's Day, y'all can tell um, if you watch the Valentine's video. Like, I just like more subtle stuff, especially for holidays that are just like smaller and just like one day and you're not really like a whole season, which I mean, I guess every holiday is one day, but like with Christmas, you know, you go all out. And then like, I feel like with 
uh, fall decor you go all out. But there's just, like certain little holidays that you just don't. <laughs> um, and maybe you do, I don't know. I just, there's just su certain ones that I just don't. So I like the more muted, just little pops of St. Patrick's stuff. I've never decorated for St. Patrick's before. So this is something new anyway. Um, but I did get this little stack of books that says Happy St. Patrick's Day. And I thought this was super cute. It was $6.99 and 40% off. Um, so all the St. Patrick's Day decor is 40% off at Hobby Lobby currently. And so is the Easter stuff. Which I was kind of surprised that this wasn't 50% off already. I don't know when they're going to mark it down. Um, but when I went, it was 40% off and Easter is 40 as well. So I got that little stack of books. And then I also found these cute little picks. They were $3.99, 40% off. Um, and it's just little pots of gold. And I thought I could pick these out of like coffee cups with the greenery and stuff like that. Like I did the little hearts. Um, I kind of wish maybe I would have got two packs of these, but I'll make it work regardless um, with just these two. I still think it'll be super cute. Um, that's like the most flashy glittery thing I did get though. Um, and then I picked up this clover. I really love this, this wooden clover. This was $4.99, 40% off. And I just thought this was super cute. Um, if you had those, um, if you have a kitchen island and you have the cute little bar with the hooks on it, um, this would be super cute hanging on that. Um, but I thought with the coffee bar, I could make it work somewhere cute as well. And then I also picked up this wooden clover because um, I thought this was really cute too. And this one was $3.49 and again, 40% off. So super inexpensive and cute ways to still decorate your home and just add a few little things. Now, the one thing that I did already have, and this was the only reason I wanted to decorate the coffee bar anyway, because normally I would just decorate straight into Easter. I would just take this stuff off and go straight into Easter. But last year, my friend gave me these plates and this was the only reason I wanted to decorate for St. Patrick's Day this year. So they are like these really pretty, almost vintage-y looking plates and it's a set of four. And I could have easily put these in the china hutch, but I thought they'd be really cute on the coffee bar and I could just do a whole thing in here. Um, so I'll show you what the little plates look like. They are precious and so there's two alike of each of them. So, um, two of them look like this little design. So cute. And then two of them look like this little design with a pig. So, I just, I had to like decorate something with these cute little plates. Could not resist. So, that's really what sparked it all. And then, over the weekend also, I decided to make these little four leaf clover paper um, book clover. So I just take an old book. Now, if you watch the Valentine's Decorate with me, y'all will see this like um, paper hearts. They're also made out of the old book. Um, and I just decided to make little paper clovers, add the green on them, and I'm gonna like drape them as well. So just to add another little pop. So. That is what I'm gonna be working with. And then obviously the stuff that is already currently on here other than I'm gonna be taking away the Valentine's. Excuse me, y'all. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get to decorating. Jumping right into the Bible verse of the day, which is Ezekiel 34 verse 26 and it says and I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing and I will cause the shower to come down in his season there shall be showers of blessing this whole chapter is really great and I especially love this verse because it goes right along with the song there shall be showers of blessing um, and that is one of my absolute favorite songs to sing and play on the piano and if I wouldn't get copyright it, I would totally play it on the piano for y'all and sing it. Um, but the song goes, there shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. 
There shall be showers of blessing, precious reviving again, over the hills and the valleys, sound of abundance of rain. There shall be showers of blessing, send them upon us, O Lord. Grant to us now a refreshing, come and now honor thy word. And the last verse of the song goes, There shall be showers of blessing, O that today they might fall. Now as to God we're confessing, now as on Jesus we call. And that is such a beautiful hymn. And if you've never heard it, I totally recommend you guys listen to it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's an old hymn and hymns are some of my absolute favorite um, to play and to sing. And um, yeah, so I just really love this Bible verse because it goes right along with that song. And um, we all could use showers of blessings. So maybe you're in a time of um, a struggle and you're praying for those showers of blessing the lord is going to send those to you so do not give up and just keep praying and keep staying on the pathway to him and he will abundantly bless you um also i wanted to mention that if anybody has any prayer requests you can always leave those down below in the comments or if you have a praise report you can leave that as well this quick video of my St. Patrick's Day themed coffee bar and I hope you found lots of inspiration to simply and inexpensively you can still decorate your home for the season and for St. Patrick's Day um, and really just get creative especially with the paper clovers they are so cute and you can make this garland like not only for a coffee bar you can make it for a hutch cabinet you can make it for a mantle it would just be so cute really anywhere that you want to make it for um, so just remember to get creative and use the things that you already have and the great thing about st. Patrick's Day too is that you can use a bunch of greenery because the color is green so just incorporate a lot of your greenery and you are good to go um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did then make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you are new here then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you can join the Pendry home family I would love to have you over here on my channel um, and just join along on our journey um, especially as we welcome the new baby into the world here soon um, so yeah, I'd love to have you over here on my channel if you are new, but I will see you guys next time. Bye y'all.